So welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be comparing the Cartier Santos against the Rolex Datejust and which one I think is the clear cut winner and which one you should probably add on to your collection. So for starters, I'm gonna talk about what I have on my wrist today. I have my Rolex Submariner two-tone bluesy. It's a reference 116613 LB. It's kind of like the staple sport watch I have in my collection right now. And that kind of brings me into why I'm kind of comparing these two watches. So I've been very fortunate and blessed to have several watches in my collection that are from dress watches all the way to sports watches and even some vintage watches and some you know, great watches like I have a G-Shock. But lately I've been going to a lot of weddings. I went to about six weddings this year, <laughs> which is a lot. And I found myself always conflicted between which of these two watches I wanted to take. But lately, even on the days where I've been having a bit more of a casual wear, I find myself still choosing the Cartier. I can't remember the last time that I wore my Datejust or that I wanted to wear my day just as messed up as that sounds. I know I sound very, you know, first world problem thinking like, well, you know, like I'm not really liking my date just anymore. I'm kind of not that fond of it. And to be quite honest with you, in my years of watch collecting, I've kind of found myself maturing and my taste evolving. And I bought the Cartier about three or four years after I had already been collecting watches. Keep in mind at the time, my collection was mainly Rolex. I had this, my Submariner, and then my Batgirl and I wanted something different. I wanted something that was gonna stand out, which led me to buying the Cartier Santos. Something about its design just really obviously sets it apart from your typical round watch. So I wanna get into the specifications comparing both of these watches side by side. So Rolex started in 1905 and the date just was made in 1945. It was considered the first self-winding chronometer wristwatch with a date function. For those of you who don't know, a chronometer is a tool used to determine longitude at sea. Off of the Rolex website, this watch is at $8,500. When looking for this watch on the gray market websites, I found it as low as $11,495 and as high as $13,275 on Chrono24. So the Oyster case is a round case. The dial can either come with stick, Roman, or diamond indices. The bezel can be either fluted or smooth. So the Rolex does have a case diameter of 36 millimeters. It has a case height of 12 millimeters and a lug-to-lug -lug height of 44 millimeters, along with a lug-to-lug -lug width of 20 millimeters. And it has the Rolex Caliber 3235 with it that has a 70 hour power reserve. It does have a 100 meter water resistance, which is about 330 feet. One thing about the date dress is that it is extremely comfortable to wear. It has a very elegant and classic design. It is a great watch that you can wear to many occasions. You can dress it up and dress it down and have it as a daily wear. As of right now, I know that Rolex is having a bit more availability. There's still nothing available at the ADs, but you're probably looking at around a six to nine month wait at, from the AD. More than likely, if you walk into a Rolex store, this is not gonna be available. And if you want to have the watch now, you're gonna end up having to pay a premium or just have empty promises from the AD. I know people that have been waiting for a date just for six months, 10 months to a year for what's considered their second tier entry level model. So overall, the Rolex Datejust is a great watch, don't get me wrong. It has that timeless, elegant design, but it's just so common. You just see them everywhere. I'm not bashing on anyone that has a Datejust. Now, obviously I have one, but it's just one of those things that I feel that it's like your go-to, like, yeah, I'm just gonna buy a nice watch, call it a Datejust and call it a day. Without really doing your research and due diligence and finding out what's out there, what you can get for your money and see if over time your taste in watches changes. And to be quite honest with you, whenever I see a date just now out in the wild, I'm, I'm not really impressed by it anymore. To be honest with you, I see Rolexes all the time. I'm much more likely to strike up a conversation and a good conversation with someone that has a Grand Seiko or a Tudor or a JLC or anything really. Which then brings me over to the Santos. So Cartier was founded in 1847 and the Santos was made in 1904. So the Cartier Santos does have this square case and being the fact that it is a square case, it does fit a little bit larger than a traditionally round watch. The case size on the Cartier Santos is 40 millimeters and has a case thickness of nine millimeters, which is obviously thinner than the Rolex Datejust, which makes it a lot easier to wear and slide underneath a cuff. It has a lug width of 21 millimeters, which 
Cardi kind of makes it a good thing and a bad thing. The fact that this watch is at 21 millimeters, you're kind of thinking like, I'm not gonna be able to, able to add on a lot of straps to this, but Cardi is like, hey, don't worry, you can just buy the $300 straps from us and just add it on to your Cardi Santos, which is like, great. This watch actually features the sunburst blue dial with the applied Roman indices with the date function down at the six o'clock. If I'm being quite honest with you, I've gotten about 10 times the amount of compliments with this watch than I have with the other watch. People are honestly mesmerized by it whenever they take a look at it. It features a Cartier Caliber 1847 that has a power reserve for 42 hours. The Santos also has 100 meters of water resistance equivalent to the Rolex Datejust. So touching base on the design language for the Cartier Santos, it does have that squared case it mainly comes with the Roman indices. On the blue dial, they are applied, but if I'm right on the white dial, they are printed on there. This has an extremely smooth, polished, scratch magnet bezel. That's probably the only con to this watch. So there are two sizes to the Cartier Santos, the large model, which I have, that comes in either a blue or white dial, and the medium, which is only in the white dial. Though the medium does fit me a little better, given the fact that I don't have a large wrist, I honestly love the way that this watch looks a thousand times more. I loved it so much so that I was just like, I ignored the fact that it was a bigger watch. It didn't really fit my wrist, but I was like, I do not care. I love this thing. This thing is so nice. The bracelet itself doesn't taper as much as I would want it to. And it does have a butterfly clasp that is not that secured, if I'm being honest with you. Cartier did start implementing their easy adjustment system on their bracelet for this model, which is really nice because I often share this watch with my wife and I can just pop off a few links and adjust it for her and then she's ready to go. And Cartier actually gives you a blue leather strap. I'm not too fond of it, but it's nice the fact that they give it to you because you can easily pop off the steel bracelet, add on the leather bracelet, and you have a completely different watch. So it's pretty awesome. The Cartier Santos for me is such a versatile watch, much more so than the Rolex Datejust. It's a lot easier to dress up and dress down this watch and even have it as a daily wear. You can throw it on a suit, you can throw it on when you're going to work, if you're just gonna do errands for the day, go to a family function, meet up with some friends, have some drinks. For me, the Santos is a clear cut winner. From time to time when I've gone into a Cartier store, often at times I do see this model available. The wide dial is usually more available than the blue, but I've seen this watch available, ready to sell, at a store, much more often than I have any day just, period. I know people may not be too fond of the fact that it's a square watch versus a round watch, but I think that's what obviously sets it apart. It has a timeless design. I mean, this watch has been around longer than this watch. So this watch is very stylish. It's stunning. It, it feels really high quality. Don't get me wrong, the, the Rolex Datejust is really nice and it's, a, it's an amazing watch with a great heritage, but if I had to choose one to keep into my collection, I would definitely end up choosing the Santos. You don't see them too often and the times that you do, you always do a double turn. I always find myself doing a double turn because of the fact like that bracelet, you can spot it from across the room. If you see a squared case along with a high polished bezel, you know that's a Santos. And that's the great thing about this watch. Bringing me to have to only keep one of these in my collection. I am gonna be parting ways with my Datejust. I hardly use it. It's a great watch, it's a beautiful watch. It has a very special place in my heart, but I really don't see a need to have both of these in my collection anymore. I feel that the Santos fits my style a bit better, given the fact that it's a bit different compared to the Rolex Datejust. Everything about this watch, in my opinion, is just so much nicer and it fits what I like a lot more than the Datejust. It's not a common watch. There is obviously a history to it, it's a well-made watch. I've had no problems with it. I've had great customer service with it. So leave a comment down below which watch you think is better and why you would keep it. I would really love to know your input. So that's gonna be it for today, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you can, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. I am gonna be bringing in a few more watches now that I'm going to be getting rid of this. So I'm interested to see what y'all think I'm gonna get. I'll give you this much. It's not, it's not something that you expect. I'll tell you that much. Until the next one, y'all. I'll see y'all later. Take care.